Hey, Dave Cross here. I just want to let you know that I have put together a free iPad app, the Photoshop CS6 Public Beta Quick Start, and it's a way to get started with all the new changed and improved functions in Photoshop CS6 Public Beta. You can check it out at the iTunes Store. Here's an example of one of the free tutorials you'll find in the app. Here's another really interesting addition to the world of layers, and that is when you're working with clipping masks. In the past, if I had, for example, a texture and I want to clip it to a layer, it has to go immediately above that layer, then I can either Option or Alt-click between the two or go to the Layer menu and choose Create Clipping Mask. And this is the effect you get where the top layer is clipped inside the other layer. Well, up until now, you could only do this for a single layer. So if you want to do it to a series of layers, you'd end up having to either merge the layers together or something else. Well, now, let me hide this for a second. Here's a group I have that contains multiple layers. All I have to do is take this texture and clip it to the group. So that's it. Brand new feature. Clipping masks now also work with groups, not just individual layers. That's just one of the example movies you'll find in my Photoshop CS6 Public Beta Quick Start app for the iPad. If you're a big fan of Photoshop, be sure to check out my other new app for the iPhone and the iPad, the Photoshop Quiz Game. Over 600 questions in three different levels to test your knowledge of Photoshop. And hey, you might even learn a little something along the way. I'm Dave Cross. Thanks for watching.